You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm here with Miss Bailey. Hi! And we're gonna show you how to do the Aurora inspired twist back. Now, I loved this when I saw it. Elle Fanning's hair looks gorgeous in the movie. Beautiful. It's blonde and really pretty and really ethereal looking. Mm -hmm. So I knew we needed to do this hairstyle. So we're gonna show you how to get a very, very similar look. But bonus for you guys, bonus. because we have a family video coming up on Wednesday. A little bonus snippet for you guys. And um, a few weeks ago, we posted a little Instagram picture of mm -hmm. Brooklyn in her mermaid outfit. And that may or may not have something to do with the video on Wednesday. So, wink, wink. Anyway, you're going to want to check it out. In the meantime, let's go do the hair. Okay, now to begin with on this hairstyle, I parted her hair right down the middle because that's how Aurora wears it and L is her name, real name. And then I'm going to take my finger and about an inch maybe above her ear, I'm just going to go kind of make a line and leave some hair. There we go sure it's straight. Leave some hair over her ear to create softness right there. Now I'm going to take this section of hair and this is what we're going to use to make our twists. So I'm going to separate it into two pieces and I really want it going kind of in a diagonal look down her head and I want it to be pretty soft. So I'm not going to twist it too tight, especially right here at the front but we can work with it to make it a little bit looser when we're done. So, kind of keep twisting. Yeah, that's about right. Let me hold that for me, babe. Now I'm gonna go to the other side, do the same thing. So I'm gonna create a line over her ear. Now I'm gonna take this top section and create a nice twist. This hair, again, making sure it's pretty soft. We've got a nice twist going down. Okay, when you have your twists, we're gonna take them and secure them with an elastic. And you can see Bailey's got some layers popping out, but that's okay. Figure out where I want them placed, right about there. Okay, so we have our twist sitting where we want it to sit, but this is much too put together. Aurora's were a lot more messy and very soft looking. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna just take pieces and like loops of our twist and go ahead and pull. That's just gonna stretch those twists out, make them really soft and full looking and very ethereal and pretty. So you can see the difference in that Go ahead and do it through this side as well. You can start by pulling every other one and if you think that that doesn't look pulled enough, then pull the ones in between. We just want it really, really soft. I'm even gonna pull a few of them a little more so it almost doesn't look twisted somehow. Until you like the way it looks. And then we don't want our ugly elastic hanging out. So I'm going to take just an underneath piece of hair and I'm gonna take it a little bit more. And I'm gonna wrap it up and through. And then I'm gonna do it again, up and through. And then what you can do is loosen that up so that it covers that hair tie all together and just hides it. And you have this really soft, pretty twist. If you're worried about that coming undone, you can always take a little bobby pin and just go ahead and stick it on the back side of where you cross that hair to just help hold things in place. And then you've got your gorgeous curls coming out from underneath. So pretty. And then, to boot, Aurora had some really gorgeous flowers in her hair, and we, you can choose whether or not to do this if you want, but we are gonna do it just to show you what it would look like. So I'm gonna take some little baby's breath, and I'll start on this side, actually. Just go ahead and 
kind of randomly place little sprigs of sweet baby's breath here and there in the hair. Just really, they don't have to be big, just really tiny. Like this. Just to even add a little hint of, you know, flowers. She was kind of lived out in the woods and the fairies, among the fairies. And there you have this really fun twist. So we're all done adding our flowers, the hair is done, and we went back and just curled these two little pieces right by her ear just a little bit tighter. In the movie, Aurora has some little curls right here next to her face too. Bailey's aren't long enough right up in here, so we did them a little bit lower, but it gives the overall effect. So let's do final spin. I think it's so pretty. I love it. I love it when you get to put flowers in your hair too. So pretty. Now don't forget, on Wednesday we have a bonus family video. Do not forget, you are not gonna wanna miss it. It's gonna be really fun. We had a lot of fun filming it, and we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this dog food's disgusting. I told you, I need to spit it out. <laughs> Please, come on, dog food. How do dogs eat this? <coughs> Mine are long. Here, buddy. It's lime. Rotten egg, I think. That was so bad. It literally tastes like someone tooted it in your mouth.